everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. All right, so here's the lightweight contender, raging ally Aquinta. A lot of respect thrown his way, and rightfully so, after taking off Khabib Nurmagomedov on about 24 hours' notice. Still a lot of people believe that Iaquinta has yet to arrive at his fighting club. He has not reached his true potential because now he's just starting to get active like most fighters are. Now he's just starting to be in the octagon as often as you would like to see him in the octagon. You know he has a complete skill set for mixed martial arts. Phenomenal boxer, really good kicks, and very, very tricky with timing and using his takedowns whenever he needs to. Ally Aquinta is a very special talent, and his best is still yet to come. And if you're trying to sell your house on Long Island, now's Ally your guy. Aquinta's a great realtor, too. Man of many talents. <laughs> Here he is, DC. In my mind, this is the most dominant force in the MMA game today. The undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your AKA teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Yeah, and for Khabib, it's the well-rounded skill set that has propelled him to one of the longest undefeated streaks in mixed martial arts history. No missteps, no mistakes, no underestimation of opponents. Always prepared, always ready to go, and he can rely on his the coaching he gets, also on the ability that he has to carry him to victory time and time again. Wrestling, samba, jiu-jitsu, striking, the guy has it all. I know you listed striking last, but your head coach, Javier Mendez, says sometimes he's going to south park in yeah. training. We haven't seen just how good a striker he is. We saw Shades and McGregor fight. Yes. But not completely. But technically, he has so many skills that he has not even displayed to the MMA community yet. All right, another big spot for Khabib Nurmagomedov here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Nurmagomedov is 31. Iaquinta is 33. He will have a five-inch reach advantage. Here once more is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, six losses, and one draw. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of one time, New York, Raging L. Iaquinta. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 28 wins. No losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! Okay, could take yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. So here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself thinking this week right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all the mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land a beautiful ground and pound combination.
some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Three minutes now to go in this one. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's a tech bar now. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover him. It's just be an a angle. matter of time. There it is. So he taps out oh, due oh, to the arm bar man. tonight. High level grappling. Work. I mean, he had to tap. If he did not tap, this man is not opposed to snapping his arm. Right. Sometimes it's better to live to fight another day. But hats off to this fighter on a great submission victory. as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. Now two minutes, 55 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. Habib the Eagle the celebration is on in his corner and hard to blame these guys sort of waiting to exhale get a huge win tonight and not just the win but they get it by submission they knew what they had in front of them they knew how tough a competitor his opponent was but they also knew thank you for watching please wait for more videos see you soon